I'm an unemployed bipolar 33 year old, and I've been reading this book again and again, the Tao Te Ching, and in particular, one paragraph at the very end. It's a wonderful Japanese story, and I thought I'd share it with you today. This story is from Zenke Shibayama Roshi's A Flower Does Not Talk. Here it is. 150 years ago, there lived a woman named Sono, whose devotion and purity of heart were respected far and wide. One day, a fellow Buddhist, having made a long trip to see her, asked, What can I do to put my heart at rest? She said, Every morning and every evening, and whatever anything happens to you, keep on saying, Thanks for everything, I have no complaint whatsoever. The man did as he was instructed for a whole year, but his heart was still not at peace. He returned to Sono, crestfallen. I've said your prayer over and over, and yet nothing in my life has changed. I'm still the same selfish person as before. What should I do now? Sono immediately said, Thanks for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. On hearing these words, the man was able to open his spiritual eye and returned home with great joy. That's from the Stephen Mitchell version of the Tao Te Ching at the very end. And can you really become spiritually awakened just by saying, thanks for everything, I have no complaint whatsoever? But that phrase really stuck with me as I've talked about it in yesterday's video. And so I've been repeating that phrase even today. I was repeating that phrase today. Thanks for everything, I have no complaint whatsoever. And it, as I said in yesterday's video, it really has changed my life. So I'm going to continue to say that. And it's, it's been life changing for, so far, I got to say, in a, in a positive way. So this morning, I was actually stumped for video ideas. Because yesterday's scripted video, it took well over two hours to script. It took a day of scripting and then next day finishing scripting and then filming. And that video titled Unemployed Bipolar 33 Year Old, I Didn't Ask to Be Born, Now I Believe I Chose This Reality. That scripted video took a while to make and just like all my scripted videos, scripted videos take a long time to write and then try and film and say everything smoothly and get it down in as little a take as possible. And this morning after making that yesterday, I was like, okay, now what do I, how, how do I make another one? Like, do, do I make another scripted video? Do I go off the cuff? And then I watched one of my old daily videos. And in that daily video, I was just sharing what struck, what struck me that day. I was just sharing my daily life and my daily thoughts. And I was sharing what I wanted to share. And when I saw that, I was like, damn, I actually like watching that vlog of me. It was like a snapshot in the day of my life. And I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed making it. And I realized that's the kind of videos that I enjoy making. So that's, that's the inspiration for today's video. I was thinking, oh, what's something that's on my mind that I want to share, even if I shared it yesterday? I didn't read the story from ye in yesterday's video, so it's like, why not share the story? And so I think this is going to be a change in the direction of my videos. I'm not going to be just writing scripted videos on topics that I think of, but also just to share my daily thoughts. I mean, as my uh, YouTuber friend Cecil said, um, your videos are like a video journal, Paul. Your, your videos are just your daily video journals. And when she said that, it kind of clicked in me. I was like, oh, video journals, yeah. My, my videos are just video journals. And so, that's what I realized thanks with the help of Cecil and with watching uh, an old video today, realizing again that that's actually what I want to make, just video journal types, just spilling my thoughts of that day. And so that's the video content that I'm going to make for the majority of my videos. There will be some scripted ones here and there, I'm sure, um, when I have an idea and I want to execute it well. but. 
Otherwise, majority will be unscripted and kind of like my daily vlogs, like my 1% better day series, which went up to 174 days in a row. Um, the difference between those past 1% day videos and my current videos is a title. <laughs> I could very well title it again 1% better day, you know, 176, 180, 190, 200. But uh, as I said in a previous video, uh, two videos ago, um, copying the Ask Japan guy saying, well, him, for him, he started blowing up when he was saying, I am 50 year old Japanese man having midlife crisis. So seeing him make those video titles and blow up, I am now making the video title Unemployed Bipolar 33 year old. And so let's see just by changing the title if my vlogs will start getting more traction. I'm sure it will. It's way more catchy in terms of clickability than 1% better day number. Because like, okay, 1% better day number, who cares? But if you see, un uh, at least if I see unemployed bipolar 33 year old, I'm way more enticed to click that. So I think just by changing the title at the, the very first half of the title, my daily vlog series, these daily vlog series will do way better. So I'm gonna keep po making videos ahead of schedule and posting five days a week, but trying to make videos every single day and build up a reserve of scheduled videos. So let's do this, baby. Oh yeah, there's one thing I wanted to share. Um, as you can see here, in my daily checklist, I stopped doing live stream vlogs now that I'm making daily videos, but uh, these are working on my next video for an hour at least, reading, uh, I've been reading pretty much every day except for the last, yesterday I didn't read, but also 8,000 steps a day. I've been hitting that oh, very consistently. And so if you look at my step counter and my phone, it's all green for days since, when was this? August 29th, since August 29th to today, September 9th, I've been getting six to 8,000 steps every single day. So I am walking on the walk pad, even with my shingles pain, just walking indoors. So I am getting my daily steps in. So even though I'm not going to the gym, at least I'm staying somewhat active, but I will be hitting the gym almost on, a, on, almost on an everyday basis, plus doing six to 8,000 steps a day. And that'll be, I'll make a new checklist for a habit tracker to start checking off. So yeah, um, uh, it is going well in terms of the daily checklist. And I have only six days left before I leave for Korea to stay with my dad and visit my grandmother. So um, getting a full body checkup in Korea, including having a camera shoved down my throat. I'll be asleep, thank God but it'll be looking at my stomach. So that will be interesting. Just to, as a safety precaution, you never know uh, if anything might be wrong down in your stomach. Good to get a full body checkup once in a while, I guess. I don't think I've ever really done a full body checkup, let alone have a camera down my throat into my stomach. So um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, so <laughs> kind of looking forward to my Korea trip, although and I will be making daily videos in while I'm in Korea, but I will see you in tomorrow's video. 1% better every day, baby. Take your one's cuddles. This is Muffin's favorite spot under the table. Little gremlin. I don't know why. I guess he feels safe from Tigger. He loves staying here. Poor Mochi threw up her flea medication. So gotta split it up into three meals or at least two meals. Because one meal, having all the medication at once, she throws it up every single time. Poor Mochi threw up so much. <laughs>